What's up guys, Cool here. So for the farming, I think that time mark 7, you can farm it ourselves and then like farm the Binkum and then go run time mark 8. And the strategy for this is using God of War. God of War increase the floor stage and then increase the drop for every floor but mostly we will only can reach to 10 or 11 we don't really get into 15 stack because time mark 7 we don't really have that much enemy and for this route don't really need it I just put increase a bit duration and this farming method need the speed run build so if your run is not a uh, if your build is not a speed run, don't go for this because the the God of War duration run out very fast. Some of the map is like so big. The our main focus, all the farm is depend on the clockwork ballot, so all our drop depend on this. And for the profound talent, we get these so that we can another effects so we can get 100 drop effects, drop quality. And then for the goddess of hunting, we increase the spawn extra drop. And the most important thing for God of War is uh, God, goddess of uh, goddess of hunting is this one. Between 10 seconds, we get a buff that increases 30% quality. So, in the window of 10 seconds, we need to end the. We have to run back, like go in, start the Goddess of Hunting. Never give the reward yet. Not give the reward. Never press the, the Clockwork Ballet at the boss room there. Kill the boss. So that we get 30 drop quality. And then run back start the clockwork so that you will get a reward the reward will have this 30 percent drop and then together with the god war sometimes i can successfully the most i can get like one run is like 78 to 100 but that is because i have thing field pack and i have the season pack so this is to start the alleys when you at the starting of the map when you press the alleys we need to select these because i haven't get the battle pass yet so i'm for me i manually switch it at the beginning we just need to use it one time after that we switch back to frame view in the mapping it will look like this just that this build is only available for a speed run build And then I switch to a season, I select, and then I switch back to fame field, and then I run. Get God of War. We have to run fast, find the clockwork. Here has seven, so this map is too big. It's not really possible to clear everything in time with the God of War. This is based on uh, the farming is based on the clockwork, not based on the killing the enemy on the map. That's why I say we need a fast run build. Just get the clockwork clear and then keep running. But this time is not enough time, then you can start the Goddess of Hunting, go in, kill the boss, start, hand in the reward. Like this one is because there's not around a lot of fame field. When you have enough fame view, you can, uh, not enough, sorry, it's like, it's really depend on the reward for the clockwork. 
and just now I forgot to show you guys is I can run another map like base FX we only have 75 because we add in at the profound talent we can get to 100 and for the compass we use this increase the minion additional more enemy to increase some of the tier for the god of war and we also have increase of the compass drop right here we increase the compass additional compass and then time up the time up 8 binken like chance to upgrade it and i test up the mystery chest in time up 7 mystery chest the reward is not really that good so let me show again this is the netheron talent and then this one is the profile talent we go for left but you need to have high survive but for me i find that time up seven doesn't matter just that you can do select this if your uh survive is not that good get another drop when your survive is good get this and then under god of war here this like a negative minus 40 percent so time up seven with this six percent drop quality your you must have enough damage before you can play this type of farming build and it's a speed run build high damage speed run for me i already can run time up one uh sorry time up eight dash one so this one is the build If only they let us zoom out the map and like only one, two, three, four, four area and then the clock would just don't get reduced time. Reduced time, there's another run that use it. This one, we have to be fast. Okay, I run again. Always before we start at least change the pack. To the season pack if you doesn't have allies the season pack periods uh, the reward chance will be a bit lower than what I have but this is uh, a one of the farming that I know that help for player that doesn't have the season pack maybe the the reward will not be that much but we can use the netter round resolence to buy the t7 binken so it's basically is like not spending too much resource on farming and your drop rate is really depend on the clockwork buff that you get here damn it it's right right here Okay, just in time. So everything is just in time. Got a war buff, goddess of hunting buff. And then if your compass, like uh compass and the thing feel is the best for me, I find as a reward. And this is for one of the map run. There's a second one. For the second farming method, uh, I also find that it's not bad. It's this one. The drop. The the amber, truth amber. It's like uh, so expensive. So <clears throat> it's best that we, we get a few points to this. And then between energy core and the operation point depend which one you lack now i lack of energy core so i go energy core if you lack of operation as a of operation just go farm this these two is important and even you can sell it also and frame sam also frame sam sell very good and then got a wall again
the drop, then increase the floor tier, this is the same. I didn't get this and the increase the duration. This one I'm not really sure is it needed. Maybe after I test more, we update again. And then mostly these two within key is don't need. I have two extra point. Two extra point depend what you want to use. And Binken, Time Mark 7, Q Magic Monster, they will drop and then try to upgrade them so that we can farm for Time Mark 8. If you need, you can get the drop, increase the boss drop uh, for the net turnaround resonance. Mystery Chair is just not really good. And time Mark 7 and then uh, Compass. And that will basically it. And this is still the same. Get this one. And then for the clockwork ballet, it's different from the other one. We can get this part. Minus additional 30%. This will be another speed run, but we are not. This speed run will be different. We only can run uh, Galactic Abyss. The village, the Damima village, and second one, the Solon village. So how to run it is like, uh, so this current map, the deck is like a, a last few season ago. We have to finish our tier. Uh, we have to finish the confusion before it will reset and update the the void chart every time when you change something to void chart you must rerun the map so i have this still at the old one now remove this But the clockwork is the new one. These have no God of War. Or maybe it's the other side. Like have to try to kill, clear it fast. Before the time ended. Oh no, it's haven't update yet. Yeah, haven't update yet. What we need to do is uh, get a refresh to the map by doing two progression. Uh, so we only run this. Like here, confusion, 100% additional drop quality when we have this deck. But the strategy for this uh, void chart is speed run. We also can start the... <clears throat> Like just speed run, like here have 100 drop and then start. So use Alice, start the Alice and then change back, start God of War and then run. So clear everything fast because the clockwork only have 30 seconds because of the buff and this map is very short. So we have enough time to clear so that most, most of the time we get the voucher is purple color. There's something at the back.
So two area to run. One is this. So like for example, my white chart is farming Binken. Binken is this one. This is even faster run. So the ballot. This one is uh, default time of the ballot. Additional five. This one is. This one. I don't think time up seven the the clockwork ballot will come out much. Maybe I will test out more. I just found these out yesterday, and then today I just share with you guys. So when I change my speed run, you will not affect these because I'm not running any deck card, and this is still the same. Got a war. Like for this run is player that doesn't really have the legendary season pack, but you also need a speed run. But this speed run is much more better than the other speed run. The other you need a high DPS for the speed run. This is mostly is farming compass. Uh farming compass and sell the Binken. Like if you get the Galactic, this can sell for seven. Thunder ways also you can sell it. Because my thunder ways I used to I like to run this speed run on thunder ways. Why? Because I want to farm this boss. I need this chest. I want to farm this chest. That's why I run on uh thunder ways. Speed run and Binken. So for the Binken, it's running Galactic, Damila Village, and then Thunderways also, the Village. Oh, it's the Groove. For these parts, the Thunderways is this area, Groove of Calamity. It's not the Village, uh, it's the Groove of Calamity. So the name is different. For the Vincan, using God of War to farm the uh, Time Mark 8 Vincan and Compass. And the clockwork value is reduce our time, so we need a very uh, straightforward map. So, go for Calamity and the Galactic Abyss, uh, Damila Village. And then the other one that I call it speedrun. Any map is possible. There's no one map. Uh, like you are. We just run any deck that we want. And this is for farming clockwork ballet. So for the clockwork ballet is. So like for example, I want to run these two white chart, right? So I will not touch this. So the Damila village will always be at the Binkum one. And then when I want to run the speed run, this remember to respect. Remove the point. And then put it here. If not, this will affect our map run if the map is too big. Hope that is not confused for you guys is it able, able to share it out uh, drop filter not drop sorry uh, pro build quit loot my creation ah 
and then this one is this But it's still best to watch the video. Time out seven two. And then second one, joint speed run. The other one is the Binken. Also the same. I will link it to the video also, <clears throat> and that basically. So these two build that I found that is a uh, good to fun for everyone. Just that the clockwork bandit have to change. Depend on which type of farm, the clockwork bandit is not if uh, every time after you. Yeah, I think these already have the just now the one that I have the clockwork minus. I can go test it out. Minus the time. As you can see the time should be. It will not increase it always at 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds before the time run out. We have to go to the second one. So we have to just speed run. And then go and kill the boss. And then that's it. Twenty two. So this will always be the same as long as you don't touch the deck and just keep running the village. So after like I go to the speed run and this one is also under the speed run. As long as you don't run the deck, it will not be refreshed. The white chart will not be update on the round. If we never run the deck, the progression. And I think that is easy to understand. If you have any question, you can just comment down below. I hope that this uh white chart, the new white chart farming yeah, the farming guide for the new white chart help everyone. 
if you find that this guide is helpful give me some like and subscribe the channel thank you guys see ya bye bye